हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एवानेसेंट वेव लेट्स बिगेन टू अंडरस्टूड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एवानेसेंट वेव फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिस्कस ए ब्रीफ आइडिया ऑफ टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन as we have already discussed in that of previous video all about total internal reflection but here a brief idea about this let we consider an interface interface with separating टू मीडिया मीडियम वन एज रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एन वन मीडियम टू एज रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एन टू एंड रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ मीडियम वन एन वन इज ग्रेटर दैन एन टू मीन्स मीडियम वन इज डेंसर एज कंपेरिजन टू दैट ऑफ मीडियम टू दैट वन इज रेयर नॉर्मल टू दैट ऑफ इंटरफेस इन कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस रिप्रेजेंट इट एज दिस वन एज एक्स दैट वन एज जेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ क्रिटिकल एंगल व्हेन एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव is incident at the critical angle then the angle of transmission or angle of refraction is 90 degree when we increase the angle of incident to that of critical angle the angle of incidence is greater than that of critical angle then that uh, ray is totally reflected back to the same denser medium that phenomenon is nothing but our total internal reflection incident that is reflected and that angle as we say angle of transmission given as theta t and that uh, propagation wave kt vector the concept total internal reflection when that uh, incident electromagnetic wave the angle of incidence is greater than that of uh, critical angle then that uh, electromagnetic wave is totally reflected to the same dense medium is totally reflected or not that can be understood by the theory let proceed to that of theory part the expression for the transmitted electric field of electromagnetic wave is given by the transmitted uh, electric field of that electromagnetic wave it transmitted is equal to the amplitude of that of transmitted wave into e to the power i 
k dot uh, r minus omega t. Here, as we write, that is k t for that of transmitted wave. K t that r vector, k t that lie in that of x z plane. So it has the coordinate x and the z, not y components. That's why i cap k t x plus k cap k t z only x and z component and dot product with r vector r vector i cap x j cap y plus k cap z the dot product result as k t x i cap z x z cap sorry k cap component not j cap component here so k t z z what is the k t x x component of that of uh, transmitted uh, wave vector k t sin theta t do x plus what will be the z component of that of transmitted uh, wave vector k t cos theta t rearranging uh, the terms k t x sin theta t plus k t z cos theta t using that result in that of equation e o t vector into e to the power i k t x sin theta t plus k t z cos theta t into e to the power minus i omega t is equal to e o t vector e to the power i k t as common in these two terms taking k t as common x sin theta t plus z cos cos theta t into e to the power minus i omega t what is uh, sin theta t and uh, cos theta t as uh, we know it in the previous video in total internal reflection sin theta t and cos theta t value is putted o t vector e to the power i k t x into in place of sin theta t sin theta i divided by sin theta c plus z in place of cos theta t cos theta t as i into sin square theta i divided by cos square sin square theta i divided by sin square theta c minus 1 under root into e to the power minus i omega t the value of sin theta t and uh, cos theta t is put it here now we can rearrange the terms as e o t vector into that uh, i k t is multiplied so e to the power i into i i square i square is minus 1 minus uh, k t 
into z that uh, term as uh, sin square theta i divided by sin square theta c minus 1 under root into e to the power here uh, i k t and here e to the power minus i omega t i as common in that of bracket k t sin theta i divided by sin theta c into x minus omega t this is for the transmitted electric field vector for that of electromagnetic wave that equation number 1 what we see in that of uh, equation this is e to the power something, but uh, that one as the real part. As you say, hence for theta i is greater than theta c, angle of incidence is greater than that critical angle, the refracted wave. the refracted wave propagates along x direction along x direction that is parallel to the interface to the interface, but is attenuated exponentially that is attenuated exponential e to the power minus k t z into something, but it is attenuated exponentially beyond the interface, beyond the interface that is the wave travels the wave travels very small distance into the second medium with its amplitude falling off exponentially due to the factor that one e to the power minus k t z sin square theta i divided by sin square theta c minus 1 on the root see here for theta i is greater than theta c then what happened look that of uh, equation here e to the power i 
that is x component that is the z component. So, the refracted wave propagates along x direction that is parallel to the interface, but in that of z component clarifies it is attenuated exponentially beyond that of interface that is the wave travels very small distance into that of second medium with its amplitude falling of that factor exponentially this factor increasing that of angle of incidence propagating parallel to that of x axis, but it is say that there will be some part in that of medium 2. Here we write source a wave produced in the rarer medium when electromagnetic wave undergoes total internal reflection total internal reflection is known as evanescent wave evanescent wave or we also call it as surface wave surface wave wave produced in that of rarer medium when electromagnetic wave undergoes total internal reflection is known as evanescent wave or we call it as surface wave is that uh, refracted wave as we see in that of medium 2 as called uh, the evanescent wave is that uh, wave uh, contained any energy with it or not that can be understood by taking another aspect. Hence, it is seen that for angle of incidence theta i is greater than that of critical angle, we see total internal reflection means there is uh, no refracted wave even though the fields exist in that of second medium. As we see there will be the existence of the field and that wave is called evanescent wave or surface wave but uh, there will be no energy that can be proved by using the pointing vector concept. Hence, there is no energy flow across the interface. It can be easily shown by finding out the time average normal component of the pointing vector. Let us come to the mathematical part. The time averaged uh, normal component of the pointing vector, where the pointing vector p for that of transmitted wave P t that n cap its time average normal component can be calculated as a half the real part of E t vector cross E s t vector its conjugate into n cap half real part of E t vector cross the value of S t vector as K t vector cross E t vector is conjugate divided by mu 2 omega t in second medium. as you say that is the permeability n cap the value of 
एस टी भेक्टर इज फुटेड वन डिवाइडेड बै द कन्स्टैंट टू दैट अफ आउटसाइड टू मिउ टू ओमेगा टू द रियल पार्ट अफ इ टी भेक्टर क्रस के टी भेक्टर क्रस इ टी भेक्टर इट्स कंजुकेट A cross B cross C. Vector identity is used. Mu two, omega two, the real part of E T dot E T vector conjugate K T minus E T vector K T vector E T vector conjugate. n cap 1 divided by 2 mu 2 omega 2 the real part of this term as 0 why as we say et vector is perpendicular to that of kt vector then the dot product of et vector and the kt vector will be 0 that's why the existed part et vector dot et vector conjugate kt vector n cap let's refer it as equation number i what is et vector E T vector is equal to E O T vector do e to the power minus K T Z as sine theta i divided by sine theta c whole square minus one to the power half into E to the power i K T sine theta i divided by sin theta c x minus omega t then its conjugate et vector conjugate is equal to e o t conjugate e to the power minus K T Z sine theta i sine theta c square minus one to the power half into e to the power minus K T sine theta i divided by sine theta c x minus omega t therefore et vector dot et vector conjugate is equal to its modulus when these two terms are uh, dot product e to the power i something e to the power minus uh, i something minus i something uh, that is e to the power 0 is equal to 1 only that term as e to the power minus 2 k t z into as usual bracket terms sin theta i divided by sin theta c square minus 1 to the power half. Now, this value is put in equation number 1. Again, again, k t vector dot n cap, 
के टी वेक्टर के टी कस थीटा टी के टी वेक्टर इंटू एन कैप के टी कस थीटा टी दिस कॉम्पोनेंट नॉर्मल कॉम्पोनेंट टू दिस कॉस थीटा टी एस प्योरली इमेजिनरी शो के टी इन प्लेस ऑफ कॉस थीटा टी दैट इज आयोटा आई इंटू गामा गामा वेयर गामा इन दैट ब्राकेट टर्म साइन थीटा आई डिवाइडेड बाय साइन थीटा सी स्क्वायर माइनस वन अंडर रूट देर फोर इक्वेशन आई बिकम्स इक्वेशन आई पी टी वेक्टर डॉट एन कैप इज इक्वल टू दैट वन इंटू वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू ओमेगा टू रियल पार्ट ऑफ ई टी वेक्टर डॉट ई टी कॉन्जुगेट ई टी वेक्टर डॉट ई टी कॉन्जुगेट एज यूजल दैट इज ई ओ टू वेक्टर मैग्नीच्यूड स्क्वेर इंटू एज के टी डॉट एन कैफ एज के टी आई into gamma in that of bracket term there will be no such real part that is purely imaginary so real part of this much no real part as zero that's why it results as pt vector dot n cap is equal to zero why this is zero as the quantity within the bracket is uh, purely imaginary what it indicate we clear from that of uh, equation there is uh, no net flow of energy across the interface across the interface through the fields exist though even though the fields exist in the second medium in the second medium here we showcase that in that of second medium there will be the existence of a field which is called the evanescent wave or uh, surface wave but in that uh, session we clarify it that uh, there will be no net flow of energy across that interface Though there will be the exist uh, of uh, that field in that of second medium. So here, uh, with the help of this video lecture, we understand the idea of uh, evanescent wave. What is uh, evanescent wave, and how we detect that evanescent wave by taking the concept of a total internal uh, reflection. And is uh, there uh, any energy possessed by that uh, wave? then the answer will be no and it can be proved by taking the pointing vector concept finally we showcase it as there is no net flow of energy across the interface even though the exist of a field in that of second medium so with this useful and to informative notes let me wind up the session thank you